Hello. Howdy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the campfire. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. Well, you know what? Well, I, I can already I feel, like, feel like I got some heat coming off here in Canada, minus whatever it is out there with that insane wind. <laughs> I like it. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, I'm just going to mute everybody, then just unmute yourself, Krista. All righty. Apparently in full screen, it will not let me mute all. I will jump out of this. Can you mute all at all, uh, Krista? I don't know why my button's not working. No, I can't. That's Give me the. Hmm. So who just won that game? No. Well, thanks for uh, jumping on, guys. Um, I am just going to quit out of this. And I, I have to get out of this mode. Something has happened here on my end. Just bear with me, guys. No problem. I can hear you, and I love the fireplace, right? I love the fireplace, too. Awesome. Hello, Karen. Go and do see something new and see what happens. All I did was share my screen, and now I'm trying to figure out. Now you're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, that, why is my screen looking like this all screen? Yeah, for some reason. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. Holy. Hello. I still can't get out of sharing the screen though. This has uh, never happened before. So we'll just, you back on Krista? I can't, I can't. There you are, there you are. <laughs> there we go. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this uh, full screen, but we can start chatting away while I Yeah, exactly, exactly. Or put the campfire back on, that was pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I like this concept for this week. Uh, Paul and I were like, what do you want to talk about? What do we want to talk about? I don't know, let's find out what people want to talk about. And then we got a whole laundry list of things, which is always awesome. Um, because then we can, uh, it's the purpose of the call, right? Let's find out what, what people want to know and what they want to talk about. So. Um, have some cool stories to tell you guys, but I think let's let's uh, see where people are. Has anybody been out and about this week? Anybody got anything to share with us? Have you done something new that you haven't done before, uh, or something that you've done and you have lots of success with that you tried again and it worked again that you'd like to share with us? And just a reminder to um, put your hand up. You just hit the participants button at the bottom. And when you do that, to the right of your screen, there's a button that says raise hand. You click on there and then um, possibly you can unmute yourself or we will unmute you, but um, then we'll be able to go in order of people that want to talk. So if you had something cool going on this week that you want to share with us, uh, we definitely want to hear about it because success breeds success, right? So something that you're doing that's working for you uh, might help somebody else too. I got to tell you, I had a cool thing happen, um, and some of the topics that came up in the our ask for uh, topics for this week were approaching practitioners and handling objections, uh, making the sale after a demo, and how to talk to strangers, and all of those things uh, came into play for me today. <laughs> so, um, I I've been talking a lot about. Um, really connecting with my customers and my team and really focusing on that. Um, and so I asked one of my customers to invite me to his workplace to uh, let people know about the tech and do, um, it was kind of like a coffee break and learn really. I just, I mean, all I took with me besides my Vox stuff was candy canes um, and people came on their break and I just 
did a short and sweet uh, presentation, but I started with the demo and I uh, first did the demo in insoles. And then of course I switched to the patch and there were some practitioners in the room. And I got to tell you, most of the practitioners came in and were like this, <laughs> why are you here? What have you got? What? And I was like, look, let me just tell you how I found this product, why, why I'm sharing it, why I sell it. Um, I shared my story and then I did a demo. I chose somebody from the, asked for volunteers, chose somebody, did the demo on the insoles first. And the person was like, Whoa, okay. Yes. Okay. And then, um, I offered that person a patch. I said, can I, I would like to give you this gift if you'll allow me. And it's uh, a neural patch and it will elicit the same response as the socks and the insoles. And the person's response was, um, what, what kind of medications will it interfere with? What, are, what negatives could come out of that? What's transferring to my body? I don't want any chemicals in my body. And I said, no, no, it's just, it's just like medical tape. Um, and you can see the etching in it. When I put it on, it will elicit the same results as the, the socks and the insoles do. And she didn't want to. So she was, I said, she was just like, mm, feeling really uncomfortable. So I said, you know what? You don't have to, you definitely don't have to. You've seen the, the balance and stability aspect on the insoles and you certainly don't have to, to put this on if you don't want it. She said, okay, I don't, thank you. And I said, no problem. So she went and sat down. And then I said to the room, I do have, so, I do have patches available for those of you who would like to try, come and see me later. And uh, I moved into telling stories about, about the tech. I didn't really get that far into detail about how it works. Um, but I answered some questions, uh, stayed very general. What, you know, people kept asking, but how does it work? How does it work? How does it work? And I just kept reiterating, it's triggering those receptors and your body decides. And the long and the short of it is, it was a tough crowd to start with, but I just kept going with the truth. And at the end, one of the practitioners that I would say was the most skeptical asked if she could try a patch. And I said, yes, certainly. I just want to show you how it works, how it instantly uh, um, impacts your balance and stability. And when I did, her face convinced the rest of the room. So the rest of them took their turns coming up. And it was simply a case of offering. You know, I said, if you would like it, I would like to give it to you. And some one said no, and the rest of the room ended up saying yes. So... I was not um, worried about it. I think that's the big thing. If people say, no, it's okay. It's okay. They don't have to try it. But if they want to try it, make it available to them. So that kind of touches on a whole bunch of different points um, that came up in the, in the uh, request for, for what you guys want to talk about. Uh, so I'm just curious, has anybody else had situations like that where they've had some success, where they've had some big challenges. Um, what have you said? What questions do you have? Where are you at with that kind of thing? And while we're waiting on that, uh, yeah, I know that that's great. That does encompass everything that you could possibly come across. And, you know, some of it could be overwhelming, but, uh, you know, I find that if I'm going to be doing a patch on someone, just you guys just have one on. Um, you know, I don't right now, but, you know, imagine me telling you to wear a patch and then I, and then I'm saying there's nothing in it. Well, if I have it on, I probably wouldn't have it on if it was invasive or something wrong with it or whatever. So people just right away go, oh, great. Plus when I'm explaining it with socks, insoles and patches, I can point to it and I have one on and then it simplifies it. Um, and yeah, so in terms of, I don't see if anyone's got their hand up. Oh yeah, here we go. So I'm just going to go to there. But anyway, that's just a tip. Always have the patch on, especially Agreed. if you're at a show or you want to show someone the patch. It's a little easier if you have one on yourself. So I don't know who was first here. I am just going to go to Josh. I'm going to unmute you, buddy. There you go. You there? Howdy. Oh, so yeah. I have a little bit of a comment, actually, on what Krista said. And play a little bit of devil's advocate here. When she asked you if there was anything that transfers to the body or if it's chemical or anything, did you mm -hmm. tell her there was no chemical or did you just say that it was, it just does the same response as what the socks and insoles do? I said it's uh, like medical grade tape. Yeah. 
that I'm putting on your skin. So nothing is transferred. There's no chemical transfer right. at all. It's the, yeah. it's, and I said to her, you see the, the etching in this? That's yeah. what's triggering those neuroreceptors. Okay. So you did confirm her worries about something being transferred or medically or something like that. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't catch that earlier. Maybe you said it. I don't know. Yeah. But, good uh, point. No, I definitely, yeah, yeah that's important to, to let people know. And exactly. I say that to them, even like every single person, I said that in front of the room, but then every person I'm putting it on them, every time I say to them, this is like medical grade tape. I'm yep. putting it on your arm, blah, blah, blah. And I go through that every time. Yeah. Um, because I'm very keen on staying focused on the person I'm helping right. and making sure that they get the information so that they feel yeah. confident. Yeah. That's people seem to, people that. seem to like it when I use the uh, garage door clicker and the head unit reference. Go share those, share those. Yeah. Do you, okay. So when I talk to people about that, um, they ask me how it works and I say, okay, well, do you have a garage door and you have a clicker, right? Well, your garage door clicker is programmed with a specific code only for your garage door opener. When you click that, it either opens garage door or if it doesn't have the right code, it won't do anything. Or it might open somebody else's garage door, but you know, we don't go into that. But when you push that specific pattern on the bottom of your feet or you know, align the pattern with your foot, it sets that brainstem up for optimization. And a lot of people seem to like that reference. Yes. So those of you that have not heard, uh, Jay Dollywell talks about that a lot, how it's like the, having the code for, the, for, for your garage door, but the code is the same for every human. So every human that puts the tech on gets that response. But that you're right, Josh, that is a good, uh, good analogy for people. And we have a question tied to that. I'm just going to address from Leah. Uh, it's, she's saying that medical grade tape is loaded with toxic chemicals. Why do you say that? Um, well, I mean, you'd have to go and do all testing on all that and whatnot, but when it comes to Mr. J. Dallywell, you will find that nothing he does, there is no chemicals. Uh, this is the real deal. It's just like our socks. He controls it all. He owns the plant. He is in complete control of it all. So uh, he is not going to compromise anything. It's, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, so I, I just, I know, I know him as a man and I know what he tells us and, and that's good enough for me. Um, if you want to send in a, you know, ticket to the, the office, by all means, uh, they will reply with the, uh, with an answer that, you know, um, you, you that that's going to be right. Uh, anything technical like this, always go to the office because, you know, we, we don't want the wrong information being spread, but I definitely know that there's no chemicals in the tape or in this medical adhesive, you can be assured of that. So, mm -hmm. um, so next I am going to go to Annie Moore. Annie, are you there? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. How are you? Yes. Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Good. Great. Um, I'm a massage therapist and I've been talking to a chiropractor that I know well. He and I were trading services, so I know him that well. And he is very skeptical about it. He is, so I'm very interested in this, how to approach uh, practitioners. Uh, but I also wanted to find out, like, I guess my question is, how far do I go? And then just say, okay, well, really, if you're not interested, it's okay. Because he keeps asking me for more research and videos, and he doesn't trust because he's not... Um, I just today sent him the one about Dr. How, I don't know how to say his name, <laughs> doing the brain scan. Okay. Uh, Debrinket? Oh, Debrinket. Um, and uh, so I haven't gotten a response on that yet, but hopefully that's the one that'll get him to go, oh, okay. Cause he's telling me that he likens it to um, muscle testing or applied kinesiology. And I've never heard that. I'm, I'm new. I'm only like three weeks into this. So, um, so I don't know how far to go with this because he keeps asking for like more information and I'm giving him all the scientific stuff I can give him. So yeah, I would so, say, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Jay always says to us, just tell them to wear it. Just okay. tell them if they like all the research in the world is not going to, um, uh, affect a person's belief as much as their own experience. Okay. So 
let the like encourage them to try it. If you have patches, I would definitely say put a patch on them, show them the balance and stability. And the thing with the muscle testing, this is I don't know anything about other kinds of muscle testing, but people say those words to me a lot. Um, and I often say, do you know any like do you know the trick? Like if the, if there's a trick or like if they say something like that, or do you know? I say to them, do you know how to to create the outcome? And if they say, well, no, I don't. I'm like, okay, perfect. And then I'll get somebody else in the room and say, okay, you, this is how you do the demo. And I get one person to do it on the other and I'm not even involved. Okay. And That's that I idea. find creates a lot of belief. And actually one of my customers said that to me today. He said, I, he, that was the thing that got him. He's a practitioner. He said, that's the thing that got him when he, when I said, okay, now you felt it now turn around and you do it to this other person. He said that was actually more impactful for him because okay. he knew there was no way. Yeah. Yeah. With this guy though, I haven't even gotten a meeting with him. I haven't even gotten that far yet because he wants to see the science behind it and everything. I'm almost ready to tell him to call one of you guys or Jay or somebody. Three-way calls work really, really well. Um, Who would I three-way call with? What, uh, who's your upline? Uh, you can ask oh, okay. any of us. Any of us. Um, Kevin Duguay does three-way three -way calls. Paul does lots of three. All of us are available. So just like, you're, the reason I say ask your upline first is because yeah. your upline wants to help you, right? Like, yeah. uh, but if they're, if they're also new, you know, the, which happens, if they're also new, like just keep reaching up, out, put a note out there that you need some help. Okay. Um, and somebody will help you. Like we help each other for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Well, I've seen that. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. And then there is a point you have to bless and release someone. Um, if they're at the point of, they don't want to try it, then, uh, you know, then obviously it, it's just, you're going to have a hard time. You're, you're better off just saying, okay, no big yeah. deal. Thanks anyways. Um, because yeah, experience is, it's like me saying, I always say, Hey, it's like me saying, you know what, you know, uh, Giorgio's restaurant, you know, just down the street there, don't go to it. Why? What, what happened? I don't know. Just don't go to it. Like, how could I honestly have an opinion about it had I not gone there and experienced it or, or actually ate there? Um, so I have to wear the tech at every single human being. I don't care who you are. Chiropractors, nurses, whoever it is, they hurt. They're hurting. And yeah. if they could hurt, they could, if they could feel themselves better and then know they're putting their, their uh, you know, patient in a better position or whatever. I mean, it's, it's night and day. So it has yeah. to be a positive experience. Hey, even if you have to say, Hey, here's three patches, just wear it for the next 72 hours. And then let's, or whatever that is. Yeah. And let's chat afterwards type of thing. So. Okay. That's a good and, idea. And really having the mindset that you are providing information to the person. And I say, I literally say the words to people when you're ready, I'm ready to help you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I like that too. Like, there's no rush. Take your time. Think about it. When you're ready, I'm ready to help you. And when you're ready, you want to set yourself up for success. So you want to get enough tech to wear it from laundry day to laundry day. When you're ready to do that, I'll help you. We'll figure it out. It's all the socks and insoles have a 30 day money back guarantee. And then you'll tell me what you see. And then I just leave it, but I don't lose touch. You know, I keep them in the loop. I let them know, like, now would be a good time to let people know there's a new product out. They just came out with a knee brace. The tech's so effective uh, that people are asking for it in different formats. So now there's a knee brace. And just, just keep the information flowing. And when they're ready, they will come back. And sometimes it takes people time. So don't stress about it. For sure, don't stress about it. Just be ready. <laughs> And then I'm going to go to Nancy Janetta. Hello, Nancy. How are you? Are hey, you hey, I'm here. Hi, beauty. How are you guys? Great. How are you? Good. Good. Um, I was actually, I raised my hand when Zia, Zia made her comment, but I think you guys kind of answered it for her already. But basically, I would just reiterate exactly what you just said. Like, I have a practitioner who's on my team. Uh, he found me through a friend. He was looking for Vox. He had heard great things about Vox. Um, was waiting for somebody to come see him and they never showed up. Asked me to come and see him and I did. Immediately said he was ready to join and wanted to buy socks and was going to put them on people. 
he, I offered him all kinds of support. I introduced him to the practitioner call. I introduced him to voxmed.com. I gave him all kinds of ways that I could help support him and his staff and learning and his people. I offered to do presentations to his clients for him just to speak to it so that they could understand what it would mean if they were going to try it. He didn't take me up on any of it, did his own trial and then came back and said, it doesn't work. And I'm, I can't support a product that doesn't work. And so, of course, I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <No. laughs> what do you mean it doesn't work? It, of course it works, right? So I'm thinking, like, where, where is the gap? There's a gap there, right? There's something missing. And, you know, they're busy. Like, these guys are busy. They're so busy. And this is just something else. And it took me a while to learn that, like, that I had to put myself in their shoes and understand that, like, they have a lot going on. This isn't easy to implement necessarily. It is, it's simple to do, but it's also, it, it does require some effort on your part to build that relationship and help that person through that, that trial and follow up with them and say, are you wearing them? Cause I don't know about anybody on this call, but I know every time I do that first follow-up call, it's like, well, I didn't get the insoles in my shoes yet, but I did wear the socks for the one day, but then I didn't wear them the next day. I forgot to put them on. And the, it's, a, it's a process. Like any thing any change you make in your life is a process even though it's as simple as we all wear socks just put the socks on it still for some reason isn't that simple and so I thought in my head when he said that well okay I know it works and soon the whole world will know it works and so it's just a matter of time and in the meantime I did exactly what you just said I sent him messages and hey I just saw this and hey Dr. Mark just put up this video and Hey, guess what? We have a knee sleeve now. And he has not said the words to me, leave me alone. He didn't say, no, I'm never doing this. Like he said, sent, you know, sure, send me that information. It's like, I can't promote it, but send me the information. So he's always still grasping for a little bit. And when he has time, he looks at it. And when he has time, he looks at it. And one day we'll be in the news or, you know, it, it's going to get to a point where they're going to go, whoa, okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta call her. She offered me all kinds of support and I know I, I'm gonna go back now and I'm gonna get that. Yeah. So it's just or one of his colleagues is gonna say, hey, do you know about this? And he's gonna be like, actually, I do. <laughs> right? And so, you know, it's just giving them the time to get there and build their belief and hear enough about it and maybe have enough patients come in who are wearing it. And so... But when, when uh, Zia said that her person was not interested and that she, you know, knew it worked, maybe the next step is to say to that person, um, can I at least send you the link to voxmed.com and you can watch the video on there. And at least if you ever decide you want to hear what pra other practitioners are saying, there's a place for you to go, a safe yeah. space. And then at, you're just planting another seed and then you know, maybe it's a month later or two months later. Hey, just wondered if you made it to that website. Did you have a chance to look at it? You know, have you heard any more? Here's a testimonial. I couldn't believe it when I read it. And I bet you any money you see a lot of people like this. So I couldn't help but share. Thanks for listening. Right. So totally. I just, yeah, yeah, don't give up. It's not a no until it's an actual no. So they actually say mm -hmm. it. Yep. Till they say no. But, and even sometimes when they say no, it's not a no, right? Because this guy tried to say no, but he was still trying to, he still dropped little hints like, send me, send me a little bit, right? So. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things I want to reiterate with Nancy and Paul and a whole bunch of us, um, the information that, that we are sharing with you, like we didn't pull it out of the sky. We learned this stuff by going to a conference. You know, whenever, whenever Jay speaks, in any forum format, uh, try to try to be there, try to listen, because he brings in the experts to tell us. Like for example, in Niagara in June, um, the some of the practitioners came up from the U.S. and they were like, "You want to know why practitioners say no? Because we are bombarded on a daily basis with people trying to get us to try this, take this, sell this. It's constant." They're constantly being bombarded. And they, they're like full-time, as Nancy said, they're super busy with their full-time practice already. And they're constantly being pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed by people asking them, try this, take this, blah, 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 blah. 
So they're programmed to say no. So don't take it personally at all. And don't spend too much time there. You know, help the people around you. Jay always says, Do your are your neighbors wearing it? Is your family wearing it? Are your family's neighbors wearing it? Think about those things first and the rest will come. And that goes back to my whole point, you guys, about I'm not, like, I figured this out through trial and error. Take care of your customers and they will refer you. They will refer you to the people that are going to come in. And it, that's the way it's going to grow. So if you already know them, talk to them, but don't take it personally if they're saying, no, thanks. Or they give you a hard time. Just don't take it personally. And I was just going to say to, to just jump, this is exactly where I was going is, uh, it's, I went to 110 practitioners and had zero results. Right. I spun my tires too much and I dug myself a hole. I couldn't get out. And I'll tell you right now, practitioners should be the last thing on your mind. Go out and help people that have pain. I'm telling you that is where it all happens. We need the practitioners to help those that need help. But every one of those hurting persons has a practitioner that has a relationship that is better off going in and showing. And, and that's where the practitioner births from. Okay. It's not knocking on a door and trying to get an appointment. You're going to just, you're going to be freaking out. I, I, I have all the business cards here. They're Ask that. us how we know. And I gave up. And I did shows and sock and souls and people on the street and all that. And that's what grew the business. Not to say don't go after practitioners, but just go after people. Then you're going to be so well versed. You're going to be confident. You're going to not be terrified the next time you talk to a practitioner. Don't go after the practitioners if you're brand new. The ones you use, yes, that's obvious. They're going to see improvements, but don't try to go knocking doors and, and cold calling. Um, just that's not just don't go there um, and I'm just gonna get Kevin on here too I know he's uh, been waiting a long time I just had to get that out there because that's an important point Chris is, very important is spend time and the big picture and and that's the, let the practitioners enroll the practitioners I'm telling you right now that's how it works they all yep. know each other right so. and we know by trial and error we Paul and I have knocked on so many doors together Kevin and I have knocked on so many doors together and you know what Today, one of my customers invited me to go and talk to a room of practitioners. Exactly. Here we go, Kevy. Thanks, Austi. Thanks, uh, thanks, Karen. Um, Paul, you, you hit the nail on the head. So what I've seen with this, folks, and, and we have actually video proof to show you how well this works. So I'll bring back to your recollection, we had this on Box Life with Todd Hewitt with USC, Dr. Mark Debrinkat, and Luke Robitaille. All three of those guys came into Vox Life through a friend, okay? It was the patient that brought the tech to mm -hmm. Dr. Debrinka. Yes. It wasn't Jay, it wasn't Dr. Mark going to some conference, because he's crazy busy, as you all, we all know. But I said, it's a patient that walked in and said, Doc, have you heard of these socks? What socks? Vox Life, no, I've never heard of them before. But he knew the patient. He has notes on his patient. Doc, let me tell you what these socks are doing for me. If, if I was your therapist and you walk in and you tell me, Kev, I tried this, and going, really? I don't ask for research. I trust you. I know you. You're my patient. This is, this is an integral part of what we do with this mission statement, you guys. It's trust. It's they hear your story like Krista talked and Paul talked and you know, and we all have our story, and that group is a very small group. It's an important group, but it's a very small group. I said, there's billions of everyday people, billions. I said, it's the billions that will take us to those, and that's how those docs are, and to themselves. And so if it happens, it happens. But, Paul, you know, I love your point. We will find those doctors, the, right, the doors will just open. And if you have credibility and you know them personally, okay, that's a that's a different platform in regards to it. But to go cold, like Paul said, and Chris, oh my gosh, I remember my days. You're right. You have so much stuff in your schedule. 
like, and, and guys, don't take this the wrong way. Because they gonna, they look at most of us in box life. You know, none of us have, I don't have a medical degree. And they look at us going, what kind of training do you got? You're talking about neurology? Just like Krista, they're all, they're all like this. Like, what do you know? Literally. Literally. Is it, so guys, remember, there's theory and there's practical. This is a practical technology. It's like the phone. You got to use the phone. Oh, it's a nice phone. Uh, it's not on yet. Hang on, let me turn it on and let me show you what it does. Wow, it's amazing. Welcome to the tech. So you get the tech, put it on, do the demo. Some will, some won't, some won't, so what? Next. Lesson release and move forward. And let the patch do the talking. Let let the demo. And if that's not enough research for them, if you if they can't trust themselves, they got bigger issues, honestly. They got so, way, they've been hurt. They've been that's another story. But just work with your friends. Remember, and just go back to those videos that we have on the on the on the on the home page. They all said it. My good friend. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. So just keep working with that. Keep working with your friends and leverage your teammates, leverage your friends, and we'll get there. Amazing. Yes, we will. <laughs> I just want to also um, let you know that. So when I today I was talking to this room full of practitioners, I was not talking to them about them selling Vox at all and this is one thing i would say that i have learned over the last two and a half years is to slow down do not approach somebody with the mindset that they are going to build a team for you or they are going to join this mission even don't approach it like that no matter who they are get the tech on them tell them to wear it for 30 days for themselves slow down you, whoever you are, whoever I'm talking to, you slow down, talk to the person, the human. Don't look at the business aspect of it with them. Talk to them as a person, help them. And think about yourself. Why did you join this mission? Let them have that time to come to that realization themselves and they'll join or they won't. They'll help in one way or another. That part is not where you're starting. You're starting with a conversation to help them first. That's where I start anyways, and that's brought me success. Yeah, absolutely. And what I want to do is that's enough for practitioners, guys. Uh, let's uh, get to mm. a few of the other topics. Um, I guess the next one would be, what do you got next? Handling objections. Yeah, objections. We, we touched on it. I mean, yeah, guys, it's, it's just like Kev just said. It's like we've all said. Uh, lesson release like I'm not I'm not I used to argue with people I put ads on buy sell trades and I'm just in there trigger fingering and you know I'm just as bad as them and and it was so funny I once I realized don't throw logs on people's fire um, I would just say hey man awesome I hope you have a positive weekend and the feed ended because my positive positivity just washed out their fire and if I had thrown a log on it, well, he would have come back or she with a ba 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 da ba ba ba, and we just have this great big nonsense feed of uh, a war of, of of text, and it's just not worth the effort. Just yeah, just just wipe your hands of it. Think about it, guys. We say it over and over again. Seven billion people. We've helped four million. We have we have seven billion to help. I know there's that billion first, but let's be honest, we want to help 7 billion. So um, you just, just think about that. Like I drive down the highway and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all these people. Like, you know, I hope there's a, you know, construction ahead so we all get out and I can start boxing people, you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, it just proves there's people everywhere and, and we just have to realize that and just dust it off. I mean, there, there's there's no... There's no other way around it or else it's just going to irk you. It's going to just take you down. And that's sometimes people's mission is to just hope that, you know, you, you have a, a, a terrible day or something. So just ignore them. And we know what we have. Uh, don't tell me how my cow milks and let's move forward. So um, I don't know if you have anything to add to that, Krista. Um, yeah. Just yeah. The other thing, that's very true, don't, and don't take anything personally um, when people are saying anything about it, because 
I mean, you wouldn't be here if it didn't help you. So there's that. Um, the other thing I would say is be very mindful of your attitude towards people. So I have two examples that happened in the last, one happened about a month ago and the other one happened in the last couple of weeks. Two examples of people who said no, and one was very abrupt. And she said it to one of my associates, actually. One of my associates was so excited. She's brand new. She was calling her friends to, to tell them, you know, I'd like to come with Kristen and introduce you to this tech. And one of them was like, no, that's, that's ridiculous. That's not a thing. No, you, no, you're not coming to, don't bring her here. I don't want to do that. And my friend was A, embarrassed. She was embarrassed. To, because I was there during the conversation and she was like really taken aback by her friend. And I said, Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have no idea what's going on in her world today. We have no idea. She doesn't know anything about this tech. There's no reason for her to be upset with us. So don't assume anything. It's no today. Just, it's fine. It's fine. Don't be upset with her. Don't be embarrassed. Don't, it's fine. It's not a big deal. About a week and a half later, she called my associate back and apologized. She had had a bit of a show going on in her world that day, and it was, had nothing to do with us. And she'd like us to come in a couple of weeks to introduce her to the tech. I had another person who made a big, like, no, 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 it was kind of like the arms crossed, blah, 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 in a way that took me aback. And I was like, it's okay. It's okay. You know, you know, it's all right. You don't have to, you don't have to try it. Um, no worries. Like if you want to learn about it, I'll be here. Anyways, that person came back to me later and said, I, there was people in the room that I didn't want to discuss this in front of, but I've had, uh, I have a concussion and I wanted to learn more about this. Can you answer my questions? And okay, now I would like to try the demo. So don't assume what people, that you don't know what people are thinking. So if they say no, just accept it. Don't take it personally. Don't, don't fight back. Don't just, okay, when you're ready, I'm ready. All right? Just keep well, it. and I, I just had it happen. Uh, I was Sunday, the show I did. Um, I was training a brand new associate. Um, the way I do that, just so guys know, I let her take her inventory. I set the entire booth up with my stuff. I let her sell all her stuff and I let her take any partners that we get. That is how you operate this business. That is how you create duplication. So we're sitting there, we're on the front lines, we're reaching out to people. Um, and I just as simply went, have you heard of this neurotech before? That's it. Well, all of a sudden, a lady looked with her husband and she said, he looked and then she, and then she went, nope, that's that thing, doesn't work. And I just said, oh, hey. I said, ma'am, can you, can you just tell me why, what's up? Oh, people said this would help uh, my uh, client that has autism and it would, it would take it away and it didn't. And I said, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, unfortunately, thank you for telling me this. I said, that is not the way we operate. Somebody was obviously confused or knew or did not know. And I said, you know that there's a money back guarantee. Well, it doesn't matter. And I just said, hey, look, here's my card. Please have him call me and I will return his money. I'll refund the money. No problem whatsoever. And she looked at me stunned. And I said, ma'am, this is the real deal. I guarantee your client's not wearing it properly. He only had one pair of socks. If I could just have a conversation, I could maybe guide him the right way. I'll give him another pair of socks. I don't really, this is about what I know and what this could do. And if you're open to that, awesome. But no matter what, I just want to make sure that he gets his money back. Unbelievable. Next thing you know, they're in the booth. The man's there. He's a golfer. He's this. He's taking cards. They're getting pamphlets. If I had got into a war with her, everyone else around would have seen it. If I, if I was just being honest and protecting the company and, and just providing information, that's what we have to do, guys. And look what happened. I mean, I may get a phone call, I may not, but now that lady works with children with autism. We, we don't need that being spread all over that, you know, this is, we're saying this and that. This is gonna happen, guys. People are gonna say, oh, it does this, and they're not supposed to, but 
they're new and they're learning. So um, yeah, definitely don't take a, offense to the negativity and just bring it to a positive as possible as, as quickly as possible. Um, and it, it's just so much better mentally <laughs> for all parties involved, and uh, it's it's just a better move. So uh, just do it that way. Um, and it'll make a huge difference. So absolutely. Oh, I got Nancy here. Sorry, Nancy. So lower your hand. I'll unmute you first. There you go. You have the floor. Hey, babe. Hi. I didn't get an unmute notice this time. That was weird. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm just, just making sure because usually it comes up and it says unmute now. Like, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah. yeah. And I so, so I was waiting for it and it didn't come, but you're anyways, whatever. Um, I was just going to say, I agree with like all everything you guys were saying. And, and that is definitely um, when people come up to the booth, I try to keep it as positive as possible, but I just wanted to add one uh, big point is if you can always put yourself in the position of responding to the mission and not your own business of trying to grow your business and, and make that sale right now. Because I feel like, and I was there, I was there. So I know I did it and you feel like, Oh my God, I got to make that sale. And I got to make that sale. And I, but when you start to understand, like you don't actually have to make that sale today, you need to educate people today, educate people today. And then the sales will come. And they might not come from that person, but they come from somebody because the more we keep educating and educating and educating. And Paul, when you said they came up and they had that bad experience, I'm always, if somebody says that, I immediately, do you mind if I ask a few questions? And, and sometimes I say, you know what, there's a lot of people who are brand new in this company who have had phenomenal results and have just joined our mission and they have had instant results and they can't help but say, this healed my whatever because for them it really did mm -hmm. that like you guys remember what it did for me I know the things I said in the first two weeks of box after wearing my socks <laughs> like I was like who is not going to wear this like who who I, every single human being is going to want this on their feet I really believe that and I didn't know anything about network marketing businesses or like the stigma attached to that or like I learned so much in the first <laughs> three months of box it was insane right because I had an experience where I felt like this was like a miracle life-changing magical oh my god experience and so I did I, I tell people to this day I made a lot of mistakes in the first month and I scared a lot of my friends and family away because I said the wrong thing so ask i was going to say ask questions when you're dealing with objections questions is the way to go like and it's okay for them to object even at the end of all the questions but at least if you start asking questions and get them thinking about this for themselves then maybe they don't buy from you today but they buy from somebody else but if if i do that on my end and they come and buy from you and you do that on your end and they come and buy from me it all washes out in the end like every, yeah. we all rise with the tide so educate 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 and tell people that i just i'm here to teach i don't want you to buy socks i'm not here to sell you anything but please let me teach you like you've got to know and share your story share your story totally and let them know when you're ready i'm ready i'll help you yeah i love they that you touched, yeah i was just, just going to say i love how you touched on um if if it's if it's the first touch as long as it's positive and it's a no then there's going to be another touch then there's going to be you know jimmy saying to bob whoa man you should check these socks out wow and he's going to go oh my gosh i just was that like the the market and I was thinking about humbug what do you mean what's going on and if you think about it I've got customers that maybe someone here touched first and, and they just ended up with me and vice versa you know I don't always get a yes it's not possible you know and just let the business organically grow don't ask anyone to join it just be a human being follow up the right people come every single time they, they always do and one's gonna be longer than the other and that's again that's just the way it goes. There's actors that weren't popular until they were 55. There's some that were when they were six years old. Um, and they probably went to 8 million editions and finally got their big break. So 
we'll all get that big break of somebody breaking off and you know building this and that's just how it goes um, and exactly. we're in it together and that's what I love about box is we're one team and so now what what was the next so that's objections that was uh the next one was making a uh, sale making a sale after a demo so what do you say what were paul what do you say to somebody you demoed them but you're in an environment where it could be anywhere sock and soul party could be a booth could be a person yeah, that's i'll just use a vendor event so uh yeah. boom uh, they got demoed they're like wow factor the whole nine yards and then i just say hey so what kind of socks do you, do you typically wear and i point to where the socks are and it's just a natural transition over to take a look at the product and then you know you i just say to someone look at i've done this for a long time uh this is consistency is key um i sometimes try to take control of the conversation right away and i'll look down especially this time of year and i'll say i have a question for you your socks you have on right now would you wear those tomorrow? And they go, absolutely not. And I say, excellent, because I'm just gonna let you know that you need enough product to be consistent. So I'm not trying to sell you a bunch of socks. This is about results and sharing. So I need you though to be compliant wearing it, because if you only have one pair, it's not, I just, I know but I'm through experience, but if you can only afford one, I get it, and I'd rather you get an insole. I've said this before, because then I know eight hours a day when you are at your worst, you are going to have the technology, uh, you know, accessible to you. So selling it is just a matter of, of, you know, briefly saying, have you heard of this neurotech? No, how does it work? I could take a lot of your time and confuse you with the science, or I can show you in 30 seconds, poof, over there. From there, this is the products that we have. Let's get you suited up for what you need. You know, and, and you have to ask for the sale. So are you interested in purchasing? There is a 30 day money back guarantee. Oh, great. Uh, you know, you, you'll, you'll know where it's at at that point. Um, again, don't run down the hall and are you sure? And I'll give you two for one and you know, you know adios amigos, next. You, now you're informed, you're educated, you walked away, cool, next, 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 right? And the right people are gonna come and, and, and join our mission or, or send us a bunch of friends or whatever it is, referrals, and, and, and just uh, go with the flow. Um, you know, there's, there's people everywhere and we don't need to uh, just focus in on one certain thing or you gotta do a multiple things, events and parties and in the parking lots and in conversations and at church and at a wedding and at a party and in a garage and I don't care where you are. <laughs> Exactly. I'm, I'm loaded. I got, I got uh, patches all over. I got uh, full, full ammo all, always. <laughs> exactly. So I, my wording is probably a little bit different. What I say to people, so I do the demo and I really, you know, I let them stand there and awe for a second. I, and I stand beside them going, right? Like, I know. And they go, what the, and sometimes they swear and they're like, what, how, what? And I just let them bask in that for a minute. And I'm like, I know that is the appropriate response. Uh, yeah, I get, I, yeah, yeah. That's why we show you because you can't unfeel it. And I let them go through the whole, okay, okay. So you can see, so then I'll have, you know, turn towards where my product is and I'll go, okay. So for the people you're thinking about, what you want to do is set them up for success. So all the socks and insoles come with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you want to think about what will take them from laundry day to laundry day. So if it's you, if it's your sister, whoever it is, all the people need enough to get from laundry day to laundry day on what they're going to wear. Jay put the pattern in all these different things because different people have different preferences. So what I do is I take orders, if I have it here, you take it with you. If not, I'll get it to you next week. So have a look. Think about what you wear on a daily basis. So if you normally wear socks that look like this, then that's probably the best bet for you. If you sometimes wear some that look like this and sometimes wear something that look like that, then get a combination. Whatever's going to work for you, whatever you're going to wear is really what you should be getting. Um, and then I shut up. Stop talking. And I let them look and I let them touch. And I say, do you have any questions for me? And then it just usually transitions to them saying that they want to get this or that. And if it doesn't, 
I say, if they say, well, if I don't get it today, how will I get it? I go, here's my phone number. You can call or text. Here's my email. Shoot me a line and I'll give you a call and we'll get you sorted when you're ready. And a lot of times, if it's a booth situation, a lot of times people will buy on the spot. Sometimes they'll walk away and come back. Um, and sometimes they'll call me three weeks later and sometimes they'll call me six months later. But most of the time they call me. Those are my words. Does anybody else have, what, what words do you use? Because the thing is, the way that we learn to, we all learn to do this was by listening to each other, right? Like Paul and I have worked a lot of shows together. Kevin and I have worked together. Nancy and I have worked together. We've all, like a whole bunch of us have worked together um, or we work with other associates that are not on this call right now. And that's how I learned my lingo. That and listening to all the practitioners like Dr. Mark Debrinkit and listening to Jay talk. Um, but who else has words that you use that might resonate for somebody else. It could be the same, could be different. Um, but what do you say to somebody? You've done the demo, now what? What do you say? And while we're waiting for someone on that, I just wanted to mention that um, there is a, the, the next question, which ties into this is how do you speak to strangers? Um, <laughs> first of all, you just be a human being. Um, obviously you're not gonna walk up to someone and that looks totally normal and sometimes you really have to make sure that there's something visible physical because it would be kind of odd to walk up and go do you have fibromyalgia by chance um, <laughs> you have to have you know like I mean no so we're not gonna <laughs> I've learned the a lot creepy stranger. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how many people are hurting and you can't tell physically uh, it blows my mind um, so but I, I focus obviously on someone that has a cane or a walker or anything and what do I do? I honestly just go, here we go. I'm just being a human. Hi, ma'am, how are you? Oh, oh I'm good. Um, I, I just can't help notice, but I, I can see that you're struggling, obviously, balance or and, and what else is going on? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Well, the only reason I'm doing this is I, I this, this product crossed my path. It's a wearable neurotech. I, I just, I can't let anyone cross my path without sharing it with them. I can give you some information it's that's it I, I i they leave it at that i don't go on and on and the person actually looks and it's like oh for sure dear and then okay awesome and then maybe i could have the patches and the card and try to get into that and i'm not going to try to demo someone with a walker and the tim hortons parking lot or dunkin donuts or wherever you are um maybe if if it's going to happen and they're open to it but uh has you know, happened just, we'll just yeah, <laughs> that's for sure but if they're really debilitated, I mean, just leave it at that. You don't want to be a little too invasive, but I guarantee you, you'll just be astonished once you do it. What's going to happen? I'm still here. I've done it hundreds of times. Um, I haven't been hit with, I've said this before, a purse or a cane or a left hook, a right hook. Um, you know, I haven't had to dodge anything. Uh, the worst I've had is, uh, no, I'm okay. Off, oh, Awesome. Next thing you know, someone else might touch her or him or whatever. Again, it ties into that also. So, um, yeah, it just depends where you are and how the approach is, um, you know. But it's always two ears, one mouth. Shut up, listen, ask questions, and and you'll you'll it'll make a big difference. So I still crack myself up every time I do this in my head. That the voice in your head, the voice in my head is always like, "Channel your inner Paul Austin." <laughs> <laughs> because I remember when I was uh, wanting to like be able to do this and like I love talking to people but approaching a stranger was like the blockers were up like I just could not get my head around it and it's all in your head right if you can't do it it's in your head but here's the thing I was thinking I don't want this person to think that I'm trying to sell them something that was my block Right. And Paul kept saying, just help them though. Just, just help them. And I was like, okay, but they're going to think, but here's the, here's the thing. Uh, somebody I know said to me, what other people think is none of your business. So don't assume you don't know what they're going to think. Uh, just go in and help them. And you know what, when you change your mindset to, I'm truly here to help you. Here's my card. Call me if you want, let me offer you this patch, uh, or just this information. If your mind is in the right place and you're truly just trying to help them, they'll appreciate it or they'll say, no, thank you. Nothing bad can come of it. Just and now down the street saying, Hey, Hey, yeah. Hey, <laughs> no hey, chasing. I, I just wanted to no, just <laughs> being, 
have a couple patches in your pocket. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah, we don't have to have all the frills and the, yeah. it, it's amazing. Um, I've never seen anything like it. No ambulance chasing. No. <laughs> But uh, yeah, but you can really, and it's amazing how many people, I did that for one woman. I, you know, I don't know if I've told you the story, Paul. I did that for a woman um, and she called me two weeks later and she ordered $250 worth of product. Wow. And I didn't even have patches then. I just t explained to her what it was um, and I gave her like a, uh, the product sheet and my card and she did call me and she asked me to come over and show her the demo which i did and then she purchased so you know sometimes you yep. talking to strangers it's you know we're always we're brought up say don't talk to strangers don't talk to strangers it's okay to talk to strangers it's okay if you're willing to if you're going doing it to help them it's okay they'll appreciate it and when you ask questions people they they tell you they tell you their story. They, they tell you their pain points. And I mean, that's what you want. That's you, you're going to listen and you're going to have a, a solution to offer. Um, that's pretty powerful. Whether they and want to or not is up to them. That goes back to the testimonials, right? Spend time, especially and encourage your, your teammates as they come on to this mission with you, encourage them to spend time on that testimonials page, because that's where, you ask the questions, you get the answers, and ba-da. I think I probably have somebody's story for like, I can't think of a thing that I don't have a story for because I spend so much time listening, watching videos and reading testimonials so that I could share them with other people. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Very, very valuable. And then very there's a question here, how, are you managing cold call on Facebook connections? They reach out to you or you reach out to them about trying the products. So for me, I've built, a, you know, not everyone's going to do this guy. So I'm just being honest. Okay. It's every, a lot of what I've done is I've built on Facebook. Um, but I've had years of it. I've, I've been there and built an audience and they know that I'm real and I, I just keep doing the same old thing. And, and then eventually they say, Hey, um, I just, uh, for example, introduced somebody to the group February of February 22nd, 2017 is when they first got product. They just joined the mission yesterday. I mean, think about that, right? I mean, that is, that is just, it's, it's just building a brand of yourself and what you do and that you're passionate about helping people and that you love it. And it's obvious. And, and even when you're talking to people, you know, many people say to me, <laughs> your passion, I see it. I see it in your eyes. I see it in, okay, let's do this demo or, oh, okay, what's going on here? I need to, so it's, it's, it's how you, you present yourself. If you're like, yeah, you know, I got this uh, patch and it goes on the arm and I do a little demo and, uh-huh. <laughs> hey, oh, unreal. I got, you should check this patch. Oh, I got to show you. A like people see that excitement and then they know you're serious. You're not just there trying to flog a product and because people are flogging them all day long, right? Let's be honest. Yeah. My Facebook feeds still, um, you got to get through the static and it'll happen, but it takes time, time, time. Um, I had 300 friends, 2007 started network marketing. No, I still had 300 friends in 2014 and I started network marketing and building connections and relationships and I'm almost maxed out at 5,000. Are, are we all close buds? No, absolutely not. They're just connections and acquaintances and just people that are digging what's going on and, and your vibe attracts your tribe. And then the next thing you know, you, uh, people are going to reach out to learn more because you're authentic and your integrity's there and it's lights out guys. If you, if you prove that don't stop for four months and stop posting and Go all over the map. You got to be up, 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 up. This is me. This is what I do. This is how I roll. You love it. You hate it. I don't care. Um, I'm me. And this is what I do. Love it or leave it. You know, or love it or list it or whatever that show is too. <laughs> <laughs> love it, list it. That's what it is. Um, I just see a couple um, questions here. One is um, for people that don't have Facebook. So, on your replicated website, there is a testimonials tab. So if you, people don't um, 
people can't, don't have to have a Facebook account, by the way, to look at the Facebook testimonials. But I don't exactly know. Facebook law changes all the time, so that might not always be true. But on your replicated website, there's a testimonials button there. You can click there. Also on YouTube, you can search uh, Vox Life testimonials. Tons and tons come up. Um, and there's another question about uh, changing your replicated website. You just have to um, send in a ticket to customer service and somebody will contact you to help you to do that. So you do that through your back office. If you have no idea how to do that, you can email at opportunity, uh, opportunity at boxlife.com for uh, direction on that. And I think there was somebody I'm just else. I'm going to unmute Kev here too. Go ahead, Kev. Yeah. Yeah, just to reiterate on, on the passion part, and this is something um, I've just learned over the years in speaking. Um, for those of us that are maybe new to public speaking and, and new and getting in front of people because this is not where I came from, I was welcome to my journey to box with the experience. Think of something that you love to talk about outside of box, okay? And take a video of yourself talking about that subject. Just talk to the phone. Just talk to the camera about, I don't care if it's knitting, I think somebody's folding laundry tonight, I don't know, what, what, do, you, what do you love doing? And listen to yourself talk, and then tell your story. Tell your story, watch how you felt about doing laundry, or knitting, or cooking, or playing with the grandkids, or going on a holiday. And when you see that, because Paul and Krista, and, and, and I've seen this myself, I have had people on a phone, in a conversation go, Kev, you really love what you do, don't you? I said, yeah, I do. I, why'd you say that? I can hear it in your voice. I can hear your voice. Because when, um, when, when, you're, when you're genuine, folks, you're, you pick it up. It's, it's like, remember Jay talked about the medulla, the, you know, the BS meter? We, none of us read from a script. Paul, Krista, everybody that talks about this, they just talk from experience i said there's ne i never i haven't had a script since i started just kept telling stories story sell facts tell now i got lots of paper and all stuff but as you become more comfortable and it's a journey to, to be able to speak to people but when you're genuine and you just care about helping them as as paul and krista and everybody else is talking about they get it that you're not about selling you're about you want to help them and they they pick it because this is so foreign in marketing and, and business and they just show that i want to help you and and they feel it it's an emotion it's like the demo you know you can't read the demo you watch a video and you think that's pretty cool now wait till you try it man it's like crazy and you know that's what i love about this because and i and just wrap up to what paul and chris talked about with the docs just guys just remember this all these doctors are people we talk about and everyday people nobody they don't know this this is like when this first came out what do you mean there's an app called instagram or facebook how does it work i don't know I just push the button they figured it out i said they don't know this neurotech i've talked to kairos are going you gotta be kidding me it's it, it, this is how simple neurology is yeah let me tell you the story because they only know what they've been taught so who are we we are now the teachers we are the teachers we're teaching from experience the best teachers in the world all teach from experience they don't teach from theory they've they've used the theory and then gone out and acted on saying hey i invented an electronic electric electric car Really? Yeah, it took me a long, but I figured, watch this, listen how quiet it is. Whatever. It's the same thing. It's the practical side that is so, so huge um, with that. So just, just remember that. People you talk to don't know this. I didn't know it. Dr. Mark didn't know it. Dr. Working, Dr. Baldino, Dr. Meyer, Dr. Drake. The list goes on and on and on. They go, I wasn't taught this in school. And it was I. But let me show you what I learned. When we do the demo and we share, we just let it go to work. We're good. So, I love you, Kevin Duguay. So, it, now I'm going to put out a challenge. And Paul, I'm going to put you on the hook with me for this. I am going to put out a challenge to all of you and all of your teammates. Um, 
I want to see your video testimonial in the testimonials page this week. So everybody that participates, I want you to tag Paul, tag me on Facebook in the videos testimonial. If you don't have um, Facebook, we'll figure out another way. Um, but people that have Facebook, in the Facebook testimonials, your video testimonial, why, what this product has done for you, tag myself, tag Paul, and hashtag Vox Talk. And everybody that does that before, next, before midnight next Tuesday, we're going to do a draw for two packs of the um, demo patches. Deal. <laughs> okay. Yupper. Vox Life testimonials page. Your video testimonial what this product did for you, what this tech did for you. Tag myself, tag Paul, hashtag Vox Talk. And we'll do a draw. By midnight next Tuesday. They have to be in there. Deal? Thumbs up? Deal. Yeah. 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 Let's see them. Because you know what, guys? It's no joke. It's your testimonial that's going to set you up for success. And you don't have to have this massive testimonial of, of personal experience. Your testimonial could be, it helped my this person, it helped my that person. Um, I started using it and one of the coolest experiences was this. And tell the story about the coolest experience, your testimonial. Okay? Let's do it. Awesome. <laughs> I love that. Like a plan. <laughs> All right, cool. And uh, Nancy, good. if somebody already has their testimonial, for sure, you can just put it up and, and, and uh, you know, do, do the same tagging, but uh, yeah. if you want to do a refresher, um, guys, keep these things to, let's be honest, uh, you know, two to three minutes. Of Max, people, yes. Like Good even point. two minutes, people are not going to watch a eight minute. It, it's, it's just like us saying, don't ramble. Uh, I know you got lots to say, but just keep it brief. I, this is what happened. This is who introduced it. This was my problem. This is who introduced it to me. This is what I did. I put the product on and this is what it did for me done in two minutes. People watch two minutes. As soon as they see five minutes, we, we know we're all in the same boat. I, I sometimes I'll just blow right by those long videos unless it's a train, <laughs> you know, yeah. so uh, just make sure you do that. And, and, and Hey, think about it. Imagine if even 10 of us did it that are on here tonight or 20 or imagine all those new stories that we can share. Um, and then you can get the original videos from people or they get put up on YouTube and then you can share all these stories and we know how powerful video is. So, um, absolutely. You can do and it. even if your teammates are not on this call, you can invite them to participate in this challenge. Yeah. And okay. tag them in this uh, post uh, or the recording that I'll, that I'll put up there next. And this call went a little bit over guys, but yeah. I thought it was awesome. I think people will get a ton out of this if they watch it. Uh, so let's, uh, Make sure we, we, we share it out there once it's up. Yes, definitely. That was fun. Thanks, everybody. And I will unmute everybody. And uh, thank you so much. Good night. See you next week. Have a great night. Have a great night. Great team. To these testimonials. Yeah. More practice. <laughs> More practice. All the stories coming to get all the continuing, stories. It's a continuing thank you. story. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night guys. Thank you. Good to see you, hon.